Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to Gloria's Platter. I am Gloria. And I see some people already waiting for me. Thank you so much, Aline and uh, Pete, for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you brought your big plate to eat dinner with me. So today we are going to roast, um, we are going to stuff and bake chicken breasts. So today I'm roasting two of them, baking rather. And <laughs> I'm so excited, so I keep making mistakes when I'm too excited. Let me show you the ingredients I need. I have cream cheese and I will be using half of this to stuff it with. Then I have garlic powder and onion powder. I am not using them all, of course. Then I am going to use a celery stalk and some green onions. And I will be using paprika. Black pepper, salt. Anyways, as we get going, you will see the rest of the ingredients going. Oh, thank you so much, Aline. I really appreciate it. So first of all, I am going to cut two pockets on these breasts. Eileen, you are all professionals. I'm just beginning, so you need to bear with me. <laughs> Hi, Faze in Reality. Hi, Bud Files. You just came as I am going to make some pockets in this chicken breast. So what I'm going to do is make like a little pocket, and you need to make sure that the knife doesn't go from the other side. So just be careful. Sometimes my knife does go from the other side and oh well, you can't stop them. These are pretty thin, so. Hi, official Jamia. Thank you so much for coming. How is everybody doing today? So I will use a bowl so that it will stand for me. Did everybody have a great day? Yesterday I didn't do the live uh, because um, we had some family time. So today I am with you. And after this is all cooked, I'm going to enjoy this with my family. Did everybody work today? Go somewhere, tell me about your day. Okay, this should be good. I don't wanna take a chance and cut all the way. Let me cut all this fat out. Oops, sorry. So I have two, two pockets here. And now I am going to, I'm going to use my hands. Let's put some salt. You need to season it inside out, okay? And then I have my black pepper. I don't use gloves when I cook, but I don't want to leave you guys hanging while I wash my hands frequently. And let's get some paprika. Oh, this is not, this is not open. Oh, 
official Jamia. I'm sorry. Feel better. Maybe I can give you dinner and you will feel better. <laughs> And I'm going to put some garlic powder and onion powder. The music is by Thrive Together. So let's make sure that this is well coated inside out. I wish I had two hands, three hands, two hands. <laughs> okay, so while it is on the side, let's get the stuffing ready. And bear with me until I wash my hands. As usual, music is by Thrive Together. Copyright, free music. Now I'm going to use half of my cream cheese. This has eight ounces in it. And it's at room temperature. everybody hungry or tired how is the day going how has the day gone are my australian friends here yet now let's cut some celery and Green onions. So I like to cut it very fine and I like the crunch. Hey, good day, all that fluff and stuff. I just said, Are my Australian friends here? You must have heard me all the way from California, right? <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling any better? Maybe I'll use half. <laughs> you guys like green onions? Thanks to you guys, I made a lot of friends on uh, YouTube. I know a lot of content creators that are good friends now. So thank you so much for spreading the word. We are connecting, connecting and growing. Okay, let's add some more onion powder here. I mean, it doesn't matter how much onion powder you use. Garlic, not so much. It depends on how you like it. I mean, I'm going to use garlic on my broccoli too.
Let's put some black pepper. Oh, I'm I'm glad you're feeling better. Plus, and I know how it feels when you don't go to work for two weeks and then you're sick for two weeks. You just want to take a big break. Now, look, I am not happy that I can see the cream cheese. So I am going to put a little bit more. So I used about six ounces, okay? That's more like it. See? And that weather is cold, right? Fluff. Hi, Frugal Mama. Trish the Natural, hi, hi, thank you for coming. I hope you all are well and you had a wonderful day. All right, now I need my gloves on. So I'm going to put the oven on to 375 degrees. Let's stuff this, these babies. Don't want to waste this, right? Before I stop it, I need to get some cheddar cheese. Tell me, how do you like your cheddar cheese? Do you like it medium or sharp? We like it medium. Hi, Kay Eats. Ready for dinner? I think two will be enough, but just in case, I will cut a little one. Hi, Geeky Girls. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Medium. Okay, Trish. All right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to stuff one inside. Well, one is all it will take. Now the trick is to keep this, this pocket sealed. And I use toothpicks. I use toothpicks and sometimes I get into trouble for using toothpicks because, um, you know, after baking, I take the toothpicks off, but sometimes some, some escape. Some don't come out and then they are eating. Or oh, somebody help me to take some toothpicks out. I don't want to get another glove. Oh. Okay, you know what? I'll get some out and I'll clean this. So you just need to count how many toothpicks you used. What happens is, once I counted, 
I miscounted. And then the toothpicks were sticking in there. So I told everybody, just be careful that you don't bite onto it. That won't be pleasant, huh? Whoa, I'm a little bit loud today, louder. <laughs> you have eaten many toothpicks. Fluffy or funny. Well, I sometimes say, well, I just wanted to see if you guys were paying attention to what you were eating. Okay, so this should be good. I know, Paisy. Just be patient. Now I am going to make a little batter using my egg. Anybody has a live going on after this or a premiere so we can do a raid? Geeky girl, we are stuffing chicken breast. And there will be broccoli to go with it. Let's add a pinch of salt. Hi, Inspired by Cake. So good to see you. Are you ready for dinner or oh, breakfast? I know you were traveling. Are you still traveling or back in Canada? Time here, and I'm going to heat it up, add some oil because I am going to brown this on the stove just before putting it into the oven. I mean, that way it gets a nice brown, and we all love that color. You can put it straight into the oven, no problem. Hey, Tubachad. Kevin, so good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Listen to Kevin's music playing in the back. Guys, feel free to connect with Inspired by Cake. She, she doesn't have a YouTube uh, channel, but she does have a um, um, Instagram account. Connect with her and then I'm sure she will support you. She will support you with uh, your YouTube uh, channel. All right. I have my Italian breadcrumbs. Yes, inspired by cake, it makes cakes, of course, delicious cakes. Connect with her and uh, she will connect with you on uh, YouTube. Okay.
All right, so I'm gonna put it in the flour. And just be careful. Hey, Heather. Thank you for coming. Good morning. Oh, we should say good day. Good day, Mike. And it goes on the breadcrumbs or the breadcrumbs go around it. <laughs> Did anybody count how many toothpicks I put? Uh oh, I'll be in trouble. This is today's dinner, guys. So, I mean, feel free to stuff the chicken with anything you like. The other day I stuffed it with, um, well, I used mashed potatoes. Heather, remember mashed potatoes? Okay, let me get a plate. I know, I love it uh, that you guys are cooking my food. That really means the world to me. If I have got one person to like cooking and uh, make one of my dishes, then I have achieved my goal. Did I miss anybody for coming? Thank you so much for coming. What did you guys eat today? Yeah, I wanna know. Oh yeah, this is so easy, Jamie. Uh, please do make it and you would love it. Everybody will thank you. That's my alarm uh, for the oven, but I'm not ready. Spatula Turner I got. So <laughs> I bought this and I was trying to open it this way. Now there is a trick. Look, you just have to push it and then <laughs> it opens. I was like, duh. Okay, the oil is heated up and I am going to lower this, let it brown. I'm still not used to using this, so. <laughs> All right. We're gonna brown on all the sides before this is put in the oven. So in the meantime, let's get the baking tray ready. So I'm cooking broccoli today. Do you guys like broccoli? I'm gonna spray it away from the fan.
Hi, Enco and NK Innovation. Thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Oh, green beans? You don't know what to do with green beans? Whoa. Actually, I, I, I don't know if you like garlic. I made garlic green beans. Okay, let's see how this, this is now. Oh, it's browning. And don't worry if, if, if it's not browned all over because it's going to be cooked again anyways. Mushrooms in green beans. Nice, Aline. Very nice. Apart from boiling them, Heather. <gasps> okay, so try my garlic green beans. It's so easy to make. Inspired by cake, are you still traveling? I might have missed your answer. Just doesn't want to stand the way I want it to. So I'll hold it until it browns. Hi, Kevin Fisher. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. It's getting color. You see it? This will be in the oven for 20 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes. on now this is my broccoli but i am going to show you what we need for this recipe bear with me for a minute until i get some space here
Now, when you get broccoli, get bright green broccoli with firm, strong stalks. Don't buy broccoli with yellow in florets, okay? And if the broccoli florets are open, then they are older. So choose broccoli with um, what you call compact clusters in the florets. So let's cut this one because we need more. I've already washed this. Good to see you. Long time no see. Thank you so much for coming. And then you discuss this, of course. So I like to cut them into like bite-sized pieces, not too big, not too small. Yeah, connect with everybody, guys. If you want copyright-free music, it's being played. I will add the link in my description box. It's by Thrive Together. Okay, that should do. So I have some garlic, which I peeled. Oh, I'll be cutting it into small pieces too. Very thin. So how do you plan to eat? Are you going to eat here or do you want it to go? <laughs> well, my restaurant only offers one recipe for the day. <laughs> Funny thing is some people are asking me to cater. You know what? I don't want to cater. I just like to cook for my family and friends. I don't want this to be a business. I enjoy what, what I'm doing. And once you start a catering business, uh, it becomes a business. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so I am going to put the broccoli on my tray in a single layer. Hi, Jisma. Good morning. So many countries joining here. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, 
How are you doing, Jisma? How is everybody? Tell me about your day. Share some something fun, something different, something exciting. My excitement is now being with you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put the garlic here and there. And I have my olive oil. Let's hope that they are so crispy, as crispy as I want them to be. Okay, let's put a little bit of salt. And where's my pepper? Yeah, catering is a lot of work. Plus, I like what I do. I'm a teacher, and then I like cooking for my family. I just don't want to be in front of the stove 24-7. So I will be roasting this at uh, 400, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but I'm waiting for the chicken to be done, so that way... Uh, we can uh, put it to 400 degrees. Remember, the chicken is at 375. Funny thing was, I was planning to brown the chicken in butter. Oh, well, that's okay. Butter is better, but today I used oil. And then I have some parsley to garnish it, garnish it with when it's done. Eileen is saying, when the fun is taken out of cooking, it is definitely a chore. Yeah, when you have people who are picky, it is a chore too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm glad you have somebody who appreciates your food, and so do I. Hi, Laurie. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, my husband loves what I eat and my children too. Well, a lot of the boys, only the younger one eats my food. The, the older one, once in a while when it's a cheat day. Because he is, uh, he is gymming and he is doing a lot of things for his body. <laughs> So when I ask what is the best that you can do to lose weight, and then uh, he says, don't eat mom's food. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get people asking me, can you make that for me and I will pay you? I said, no. Hi, Kelastic. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you, Arlene. That is so sweet of you. Well, I'm lucky to have him too. Yeah, it's um, it's been a long ride. 
this September we would have been married for 30 years. Yes. But I'm still 29. <laughs> Forever 29. Yeah, you see, you see the best way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? So I did it. I'll make it for free, Heather. Well, actually, whenever I go to parties, I don't go empty handed. I mean, of course, you get a you bring a gift with you, but I do make food and take with me. That's how I am. I, I mean, uh, it's it's like a potluck for me. Although they tell me not to bring anything, I always surprise them with my food. Uh, that's that's for me to know, Eileen. <laughs> it's a forever twenty nine. Sometimes I make desserts and take with me. Um, then sometimes I take. Uh, an entree or some appetizers that people just nibble on to. Yeah, because parties, I mean, there are so many people and everybody likes food, right? I mean, I can bring a, <laughs> a tray of broccoli like this. Look, <laughs> it looks good, but this is our dinner. Yeah, who is going live today? Tell us so we can break in. It will be a platter raid. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Yeah, a platter raid. Seven more minutes for the chicken. Ooh, it smells so good. And to those who are new to my channel, please... Uh, Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to Gloria's Platter, please. Thank you. Facing reality, are you going live today or tomorrow? everybody there everybody's quiet impatiently waiting for the chicken or did you fall asleep <laughs> a platter raid yeah woo -hoo! give me a woo -hoo, everybody still here okay elastic good to know okay no problem Ali. <laughs> Yeah, woohoo! Thank you, Jamie. Okay, at least my cooking isn't boring. <laughs> woohoo, feed! Thank you, Fluff. Yeah, Trish dancing, dancing to Kevin's music. Thank you, Arlene. Yeah, I know. That's your line. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, has it got a copyright fluff? Sorry. 10 o'clock, I know. 10, 16. Right, Jamia? Well, when you go to bed, 
Oh, if you're still, if you're already in bed, when you sleep, you will have dreams about this cup chicken and the broccoli. No, 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 no copyright. Just be like right together. Copyright free music. Come on, Flav. We're friends, right? Oh, what kind of stuff, Heather? Okay, Trish, let's dance. Let's do. <laughs> Three more minutes. So, Fluff, when do you have to go back to work? Yes. Awesome. Woohoo! Unpacking my shopping, recycling, cleaning, my keyboard, washing. Okay, Heather. Oh, this coming Monday? Oh, that's not so far. Is your body back to normal or do you feel like you still need some more time? I know, right? When the work when work calls, you have to go. Ooh, it's coming out good. One one chicken breast stuffing actually came out. <laughs> Some of it. But it's okay. So as soon as I take the chicken out, I am going to put the oven to um, 400 degrees and I will put the broccoli in. Everybody will get your energy when the chicken comes out. That's cool. Heather? What color? Is that the reddish lipstick that you wear? Now we see you. That's true, Eileen. Well, I think there's no right or wrong in cooking. That's my way of putting it if it is different well it's just just different yeah yeah the red one that's lovely that goes well with your with you some reds don't go well with me with, with my uh, skin color there was a time I only used to wear a red but now I go for pink and other colors, but mostly pink. My pink is uh, flat out fabulous. Okay, get ready, guys. Now, let me put it to 400. And the chicken will come here. Hmm. Not too close to the laptop.
Look how it came up. So when this cools down, I will take the toothpicks off and I will cut it to show you how it looks like, okay? Hey, the Stock Explorer. Thank you so much for coming. You're just in time for dinner. So this is my stuffed chicken. But still, I have to put the broccoli in the oven. I'm waiting for the oven to heat up. Hey, Derek. Derek's journey. Thank you so much for coming. Are you hungry? Could you eat this whole thing? This stuffed chicken breast. And what is sticking out here are toothpicks. No, you don't eat the toothpicks. <laughs> Oh, that's because you're doing a lot of uh, walking and working out. Congratulations on your uh, weight loss journey. You're doing so awesome, number one. Woohoo! Everybody give a woohoo to Derek's journey. His journey is getting better and better. Thank you, Fluff. Woohoo! Everybody give a woohoo! Yeah, I will cut it well because I barely took it out of the oven now, and uh, I'll show it to you. Okay, just give me a minute until I put the broccoli in the oven. Oh, yeah, I'm going to cut it just for you, and then you're going to eat it all up. Yeah, Derek is awesome, guys. He's the one who inspired me to do more steps and go to the gym because I am on two of his challenges. So uh, I did one in July. Okay, this goes for 20 minutes. And uh, yes, like I was saying, uh, I went to the, I, I walked more, I did more steps. And also this month I am into uh, losing weight. Within two weeks, I managed to shed three pounds, thanks to Derek. And we are back in the gym, so it's helping. All this time I had the ex excuse. Ah, I don't have the grip. Guys. Okay, this is better. Okay, so everybody ready? What do you think is going to happen? Is it all going to 
or out or is it going to stay in one place oh thank you Derek Oh, tomorrow we have to lay it? I thought it's next week. Just for you, for something else? I'm trying not to cut through the toothpicks. I think I felt one. What do you think, guys? this who can eat the whole breast yeah sure come on over <laughs> killing you <laughs> stock explorer um, softly and kindly with food Wow, oh, a quarter? You can eat one? One quarter? Jamie, uh, yeah, I think I would eat... I like this one. But I have to remember to take the toothpicks out. See, guys? Just where's the toothpick. Oh, yeah, it's here. Ouch. It's hot. Remember to take these good. Take these out. You can, you can have a few. All right. All oh, okay, Derek. Wait for the broccoli. So nothing that came out of here is going to be a waste. I mean, we are going to just scoop it. Uh, what kind of fruit do would you want? Hey, Jamaica. So good to see you. <laughs> Pete is going to have three quarter and, uh, and Derek only gets quarter of it. What is the rest going to have? Heather, we have a problem. <laughs> What kind of fruit would you want, Derek? Blueberry, strawberry, pineapple, either. Either one will work for you. I don't have any of those. But uh, maybe... I have one last nectarine. Would that do? Oh, you should, Trish. It's so good. It's like we are motivating one another and Derek is the biggest one. Yeah, Pete is very caring, Derek. <laughs> Not to mention he wants to eat more. 60-40. Okay. <laughs> Lori. See how Pete is working? Ooh, this smells so good. I can hear it being crispy. What are you cooking, Lori? Lori. 
Yeah, I got all that motivation from Derek. I've been just making excuses. Either it's the pandemic or after work, I'm so tired. Weekends, I don't have long weekends. One thing or the other. But when he started the steps challenge, I joined and that really helped. And then from then on, now this month we are doing the weight loss challenge and then back to steps challenge next month, right, Derek? Do you alternate every month? Is that how it works? Ooh, that, let's all go to Lori's place, guys. She has a better dinner. <laughs> Hi, Step by Step family. So good to see you. Ready for dinner? Next time, I will put um, mozzarella cheese. I really want that, you know, that long threads. Good to see you, step by step family. Thank you so much for coming. What did you eat? Well, you can have seconds, okay? Derek, is this okay for your fruit? How is it too sweet? I don't know, Trish. It just comes. It just comes to my head. I want to cook this and I cook it. This Saturday, Pete is going to have my uh, kotu. Pete looked up online what Sri Lanka is famous for. And then there is a dish called kotu. I will explain everything when I cook it on Saturday. So I hope to see everybody on Saturday. Uh, I will uh, check the time. Yeah, woohoo! It is, it is delicious. I need to check. I, I like to do it at four o'clock, but then I need to see if there are, because last week I had to change my time. There was a monetization party. And uh, some people have their lives, so I don't want to crash with them. I want to go and show them my support too. Oh, really? They send you the ingredients and the recipe, but they don't cook for you? <laughs> oh, what time is that? In the morning? Saturday morning, what time is it? Saturday morning, I would be going to the gym. But I have the notification on. I can't remember off my head, Derek, what time uh, the birthday party is. And you're doing a live party, right? That will go on for over an hour, I guess. Yeah, I know you had to cook it, Lori. I'm just kidding. It should end around 2 p.m. for, yeah, that's uh, what? 11 for us, I guess. <laughs> 11 in California, I guess. And then Tuba Chat Party. Oh, the live party will be 6 p.m. Okay. So six, oh no. No, I wanna be there for you. I wanna I wanna come and sing happy birthday. <laughs> I 
I'll see if it is not possible. I will. What time would it be over? Oh, Sunday. Okay, okay. The live birthday party will be Sunday. Okay, I, I just missed that. So if everybody is free at uh, 4 o'clock Pacific time on Saturday, then my regular live will go. And Heather, I will make your iced coffee then, okay? So there will be kotu and ice, co ice coffee, Sri Lankan ice coffee. Okay, that's awesome, Derek. Thank you so much. We have another seven minutes to go. And I can see the garlic is a little bit brown. That is fine. Even the broccoli florets will become slightly brown. And when I take it off, I'm going to drizzle um, some more olive oil and the zest of lemon and some lemon juice and fresh, freshly grated palm shot. While we're waiting, let me get the zest. need one teaspoon it should be good join us <laughs> yeah how could i eat without you so i just stuffed some chicken breast and baked it and the broccoli is in the oven so lena there are some great content creators in the house they are my great friends and they come to all my lives and they support me a lot so please check your please check their channels and uh, if you if it's possible 
subscribe to their channels and follow them. They're really good. Selena is my, uh, well, she used to be my co-worker and she left. Then she came back. So she is with us again. Great girl. Ooh, smells so good. Fluff, are you going live today? Is there so much pressure for you to go live? No, my DJ is uh, a channel called Thrive Together, Selena. It's um, it's a copyright-free channel, and uh, I get their music. And the creator is in the house. That is Tuba Chat. So he has several channels. Do you like the music? Oh, that would be nice, Fluff. Yeah, you should. And feel free to go for any cheese you like. Woohoo! It is. It is a club here. Let me show you. This is the club music. Let's dance, guys, while the broccoli has another 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move the chicken for a bit until I get the broccoli on. How good they look. I'm going to drizzle more olive oil. And it's good if you eat it right away. Not to lose the crispiness. So that way, you know what to use and how much. In goes my zest. And let's just go gently with this. I don't want it to give too much flavor to one broccoli and nothing for the others.
I know it looks good, huh? Smells so good. Whoa. Divine. Right, let me get you the plate. How much broccoli do you want me to serve you guys? Uh, time is uh, just 10 minutes to 8. It's time for dinner. There you have it, guys. What do you think? Okay, let me give you... And your fruit. Derek, that's your fruit. What do you think? Happy? Well, some are not happy you couldn't have more. No, come on over. We need to finish all this. Let's eat it. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, every word means a lot to me. Hey, SL Cricket fans. Thank you so much for coming all the way from Lebanon. Thank you, thank you. You're right on time for, well, it will be your breakfast soon, I guess. <laughs> Must be about three o'clock in the morning. Everybody connect with SL Cricket Fans. And he has a couple of uh, channels. He's a great content creator and cricket. Is a game is is the is a game not not the little insect? <laughs> yeah, please come and eat. Thank you so much. So all of you inspired me to do these lives, and SL Cricket fans is one of them. So I really appreciate each one of you. And. Let me get give you a close up. If you have just joined, please replay the video to help me with watch hours. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm halfway there. It felt like eternity and I don't know how I'm gonna reach the next uh, half 2000 hours. Yeah, thank you Fluff. Yes, please drop the link and connect with everybody. 
SL Cricket fans, these are this is my um, clan over here. It is Tubachat clan, and Tubachat is responsible in uh, helping me with lots of these uh, of these connections. We are a family now, and the music I am playing is by uh, well, it is copyright free music by Thrive Together. I will drop the link in my description box, okay? Betty, so good to see you. Thank you so much. Yes, so please come over and eat with me. Happy Thursday or happy Friday to everybody. And uh, I'm going to take a picture for my thumbnail and we are going to have dinner have a wonderful day or a night or a morning thanks a lot for coming bye you guys love you lots bye thanks a lot for coming